Okay, let's see if I can get out. Oh, I'm sorry, it's your fault, though. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Why didn't you do that in the first place, you stupid? Hello everyone, welcome to American Truck Simulator. We actually played this game quite some time ago, back in like 2016 or 17. And honestly, with the wheel and the racing games that we've been playing, I really kind of just wanted another game to add to the table. Uh, so the, for like the past three days, me and Spoonbill have been in here kind of messing about practicing. Um, I've been doing some runs myself, so this is probably why the video is super late today, because I was going to do this last night but then i was like okay i should just play a little bit more just so i can understand this absurd 18 gear thing and the button you have to click i don't know it's just a lot and especially when you don't know what you're doing so i'm ready to get in here and get some hauling done the most uh, enjoyable thing that i've come across is the oversized load transport with the police cars that go with you the whole time that shit actually looks super legit i wasn't expecting that so we'll probably do a regular run and then maybe one of those or maybe one of the long haul ones, just kind of depending on the job market. Uh, we're still a low rank, so it's going to take us some time to get our own truck. So we're just kind of cycling now through all the trucks that they have, which is fine. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into American Truck Simulator and see what we can get into. Looking at the job market here, we actually have some really good stuff. Uh, the, the price is increasing actually pretty dramatically each time we get done with the job, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have an air conditioning complex. I kind of want to do an oversized, lo oversized load because it just makes me slow it down a little bit more instead of kind of trying to be a little bit faster just because you're, you know, hauling just a regular, uh, you know, box back there. You have something ridiculous that you have to kind of make sure you don't hit on anything. I did this last night and I aced it. And it's where I actually got this achievement from. And I was like, okay, if we could do this achievement where we, it literally says that it didn't hit anything, didn't do anything, then we can definitely do it again and probably have the same results. Let's go ahead and do this one. It's from Arizona to Arizona. Let's just see. That's actually not that far, but I have a feeling it's probably going to be, it's going to be ridiculous, but honestly, let's do it. I'm ready to jump into it. I want to get driving. Uh, I don't know anything about the shifting in this game, so we're just going to do it like the way I've been learning it. And then as time goes on, I'll understand the shifting when I try to look up the shift pattern, it kind of just looks like this in my mind. Like, this is what it just ends up looking like. So, uh, we're going to just go 1 to 18 and however we need it or whatever the case may be. Uh, sorry, right, let's uh, go ahead and get this started. Oh, this is literally the truck that I drove yesterday for the haul, which is kind of nice. Okay, well, this is going to work good. I have a feeling everything should be pretty solid here. So it's saying we've got to go right out of this complex, right again, and then we'll just kind of hook back around. So there probably will be times that I stall the shit out of this car, just kind of how it goes in the process. Let me get everything set up. There we go. All right. No parking brake, or we got that on or off? Okay, it wasn't on in the first place. All right, well, I'm ready to rock and roll. So let's see how this goes today. Come on. Slow and steady. This is actually a fast truck, not gonna lie. Like, I the one I was using before is stupid slow. This one's fucking solid. All right, well, we want to make sure we're checking our mirrors. Uh, we'll meet up with our convoy people. And this is just the dopest thing. If you haven't seen this game, which I'm pretty sure most of you have because fucking game's been out for ages. But uh, this is pretty sophisticated when it comes to the convoy and the way that they did it. It's like actually pretty legit. And the AI isn't stupid. It doesn't look like it's computer controlled, too, just because, like, he'll bob back and forth in the lane and stuff. Kind of legit. All right. Let's make sure we're good. We're coming out here into... I think that's going to be our person we're following, yeah. So with this, we can pretty much just... Uh, as long as they have the intersection shut down, we can pretty much just run any stop sign or light or stuff like that. Okay, I'm seeing an issue with the trailer length than this person that's here. If they weren't here, we would be solid. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to back it up a little. I'm going to cut the other way. We're going to do a little jackknife. Or not really. Yeah, I guess you could say. And like, I love how they wait. They wait for you to do your thing. So I can't really see. Okay, so what I'm going to do really quick, we're just going to swap camera angles. I got to make sure we can clear this. So I think I need to go back this way. And then we'll kind of cut. 
<sighs> this person, dude. You'd think they would have shut this down better, but I guess not. Making it difficult straight up off the bat. It's all your fault, lady. Go fuck yourself. Don't. I'm not ready yet, trucko. Don't let trucks go. Okay, let's see if I could get out. Oh, I'm sorry. It's your fault, though. <laughs> okay, let's uh, turn this way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why didn't you do that in the first place, you stupid? Fucking dumb Cadillac drivers. Well, that gave us all the room we need now, so... Let's make sure we can just get out of here in this mode really quick. I don't want to put any damage on the... Okay, we got a curb. All right, it's okay. Good suspension. That's what I like to see, damn it. See, all right, that wasn't that bad. Fuck you, Cadillac driver. I'm flipping you the fuck off right now. <laughs> like, this is supposed to be a chill game. Nope. God damn it. No, honestly, this is... It's good. It's just some people are fucking stupid. I just don't know why she didn't take off way sooner. It's like, you see me struggling, so... Why don't you bounce? We're good, though. Let's get uh, a little better positioned here, because... Um, there we go. Gonna make sure we clear. Go a little wider than that. Ooh, I didn't see any trailer moving right there. That was actually kind of good. I don't think we hit the curb. Nice and wide. Shut it down. And I love how they like drive towards them. Keep between the. Shut the fuck up. I'm working this bitch. Okay. I gotta make sure that we don't hit anything on this goddamn route. I did a perfect uh, run last time, and uh, goddamn it, I'll do it again. I swear to God. That was good. That was probably the most difficult part. But honestly, it's not that bad. It's just it's, it takes a few days to kind of get used to the different mechanics. Then let's go ahead and shift. Because right now, um, like, it's just different than maybe Forza, which are driving around at crackhead speeds or LSPDFR. Oh, shit. I got to go wide. That's why I hate them for telling me. Yeah, they're idiots. Who's honking? I'll show you honking. Motherfucker. I got like, <laughs> I don't know why they have so many horns in this game. Oh, what was that? It didn't look like there was anything on the ground. How you doing? What kind of horn? That's not a horn. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay, he's stopping traffic. We're good. We're going for it. Nice turn here. Shut the fuck up. What are all these fucking noises that I hear? Is that like... Oh, is that a new email? I think that was a new email. I'm gonna go down one. We're good. Honestly, we're good. We're chilling. We had one mishap back there. I just gotta pay attention to that back trailer. They're honking like goddamn gas station simulator up <laughs> in this bitch, dude. All right, smooth sailing. I think we're about to get on the highway here. So probably none of this uh, ridiculous diving in and out of goddamn traffic and lanes and stuff like that. I'm feeling it, though. We're redlining the fuck out this bitch. So I don't know. That's what I was talking about. I don't know the uh, gear ratio and all that stuff. Um, but I do know how to get it through all the gears. So as long as I know how to do that for right the second... I'll work on shifting through those gears, and then we'll learn the correct pattern and all that stuff. Oh, I just put that shit in reverse. Oh, we are coming hot, bro. Woo! God damn. We gotta remember we're not driving like a fucking sedan here. No, we're good. We're ch <laughs> Could you imagine seeing that shit oversized load and this time my truck driver comes around the corner way too fast? Oh, shit. We're good, though. Chilling, chilling. We're going to get... I think we might be able to get there without zero damage. I don't know if... Um, I'm not sure if doing the curb it gives you damage. Like, you hit the curb back there. It gives you damage on the trailer. So, we'll have to see kind of when we get there. But for the most part, I think we're good here. All right. We've got a speed limit of 40. Light traffic. They got this shit shut down. Now there's nothing uh, that I can hit or no turns that I have to make that we will hit at such a ridiculous speed. So probably at the end of this video, so we'll do this run. It's not the biggest run. We have 250, oh, what the fuck? 
257 miles. How is it that many miles when we're staying in Arizona? We must be... I don't know. Um, so I'm going to put at the end of this run... The first run I had that kind of made me go, oh yeah, this is a ton of fun. Because I had jumped in last night. Everything went like super smooth for the first 30 minute run. And then after that, it just went to shit. Like I couldn't figure out gear ratios or like the gear on how to switch it between all of them. It was actually kind of bad. Um, so then I was like, okay, I'm going to stop and just not record for the rest of the night and just play. And uh, so I definitely will put that first run in because it went perfect. And like we saw a whole bunch of cops on the side of the road. It was super legit. And it kind of like just shocked me more than anything. So we got some trucks over here. We're going a good speed right now though. And I love how the departments actually change per state. That's kind of legit. So um, yeah, that run went well, but then after the run, it would just, it went bad. So now this is us with the night of practice back in. After the run, you'll see at the end of this, if that makes any sense. Just because I didn't want it to look super bad. Like, it, it, night of practice actually did really well. Going a little fast. One over, but we've got a pretty big cargo here. I'm going to stay in that just not... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely a different learning experience. But I think this type of mission right here, this uh, slowed down version escort, actually helped what I needed just because it gave me that little bit of like they weren't rushing me or anything like that and I was able to go slow because I knew I had a massive trailer massive cargo and it was like okay just go slow and then I feel like if I jump back in a regular semi truck now you know crackhead Joe mode over there so we should be good so next episode we'll definitely try something uh, a little more nimble but this has got to be my favorite thing it was a little more enjoyable when we were in uh California state that's for sure because the black and white police cars the red and blue lights just seemed to hit a little harder with a black and white crown Vic that they had um, and they just had shit shut down out there out here it doesn't seem to be much of the case shit's actually flowing like there was not this much traffic last time when I was doing the uh, massive cargo run 236 miles I still don't understand how that's that many miles we were doing 41 last time and you weren't bitching. Come on. You're good. Dude, we have semi trucks just passing us up like a fucking race car right now. Oh, it's the double trailer because we're in a state that's not California and doesn't mind there being massive trailers. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking legit though. Honestly, this game is super old but still looks beautiful. I guess you could say the same about... Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, but you could definitely put some mods in this probably to amp up the weather effect and all that and just kind of maybe give it some HD textures. This game's been around for ages and definitely probably has a good uh, modding community, that's for sure. Alright, what are we looking like? I wish I could... Oh, I can change that. That's right. Let's uh, change this and kind of see what we're looking at for our route here. Why is he slowing me down so much? What you doing, bud? Okay, so we're pretty much staying on this, I think, all the way through the state of uh, Arizona here. Uh, so legit how they have... I don't even think they have it shut down. I just think they're there. Oh, it looks so good. So different. And it definitely has to be like a mission that's going on. That's probably why they're everywhere. But it's still super fucking legit, so... Next episode uh, will be uh, Trucker's MP2, so that way we can get in with Spoonbill. We were trying it, but uh, I had to set up all my stuff, and it just wasn't working. Oh, yeah, I was going a little fast. I'm starting to get the wobbles. We're good. Slowing her down. All right. Um, let's get... No, we're fine with that. So I'm hoping to get some music, too, like uh, radio quality or sound like type of volume music going on. But for now, just having it off, that way it's not an issue. But cruising on the freeway here would definitely be legit. Damn, that truck got over a hell of aggressively. Cruising on the freeway with music would be pretty legit. Oh, if you're wondering where all the money came from too, I took out a loan, but of course Spoonbill didn't tell me that it doesn't matter if you have money or not at such a low rank because you have 
that uh, you can't buy a truck until you know you get to a oh you can buy a truck but it's just not a good looking truck like if i were to drive a truck i want it to look like this uh where oh that's not it uh where you know big ass nose and stuff looks like a good uh camper i would prefer something with a sleeper trailer but you know it's just we can't buy anything until we're like rank 25 that actually looks decent so we had, we took a four thousand dollar loan and now we're just sitting on it pretty much um until we get to that rank but honestly it's going pretty quick we've had some pretty decent runs the first run ever was the run that you guys will see that i it just amazing it was that's what gave me hope that it wasn't too bad uh but then again i'm pretty sure all this driving on this wheel and forza grand theft auto has definitely been beneficial to that moment right there and all the moments afterwards here. These semi trucks are just cooking right now. Let's, let's give them some horn honks as they pass. Let's see, will they respond? Doubtful. Which one is the? Nope. That's 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 not high beam. Oh. Okay. Sounds like I'm at like an NBA game or something, but all right. This thing doesn't use any gas at all. We barely win. I don't even see any down to be truthfully honest. None. There's still 164 miles, three hours, 21 minutes. Is that accurate? That doesn't seem like that would be accurate <laughs> in real life. I feel like 160 miles would definitely not be three hours. That's more along the lines of two and a half, maybe two hours, 20 minutes. I guess depending on the speed you're going. Well, actually, yeah, you know what? That justifies it right there, considering the fact that we're going a fraction of what you would be going. It's just 70 miles per hour. Yeah, that makes sense. I think we're getting to a time it might be appropriate to turn on some headlights, even though they didn't do jack shit. High beams don't do anything. Maybe not, but I guess having it on won't be the worst thing. Still looking good, though. We got a 145 miles to go, three hours until arrival. And I think we're pretty much staying on the freeway for a whole lot longer. We're probably going through a major town here soon, it looks like. Their major towns literally are like three streets, which I find funny. It'd be cool if it actually had more resemblance of town. That way, if you had to do some drop-offs at like not warehouses, like actual businesses that always have like semi-trucks pulling out here. Damn, his lights just became like super legit flashing on the ground. I feel like last time I did the uh, transport during the nighttime. Oh, that's legit. There's people up there. Yeah, all the lights are going to look super fucking legit now that it's like a little bit dark. Oh, those look so good. Nice Explorer action. And I love how they actually got, not police cars, but uh, at least the civilian versions of all those accurate cars, I guess. This one, I mean, the Crown Vic's pretty legit, but uh, all the other ones seem very civilian-esque, that's for sure, with, like, running lights that they wouldn't have and stuff. But my god, look at, oh, it actually flashes on the car. That looks fucking good. Okay, 100 miles, 100 miles left, 2 hours, 15 minutes. We're gonna, uh, are my lights on? Because, my god. Oh, they weren't on. <laughs> I was like, why is it so dark? All right, that makes sense. That helps. Let's finish out the rest of this. I had to kind of chop it up. Now, in this, you know, series, there's not going to be too much to maybe to commentate on the long roads, open roads and stuff. So as of right now, I'll probably have to do some chopping. But I think once we get some music in here and uh, maybe, you know, like I said, do this with Spoonbill, it'll be a little more non-choppy during some of the freeway parts. But we're going to finish it off because this is a gorgeous little sunset. Barely anything, but that's like a very <laughs> Arizona sunset. Yeah, we're going a little fast, but honestly, it's okay. We've got to make up some good time here. I did a run yesterday where I was probably five, 12 hours late, but it was because I was sitting in a parking lot. Uh-oh. Why did I lose all my power? Oh, because I have to shift. That would help. Uh, but yeah, I was just sitting in a parking lot trying to figure some of the keys out with Smoobie, and it just... Totally forgot that I was on a uh, job and I was still the full trip away and the little computer was like, uh, the deliverer, they're expecting you soon. Uh, are we getting off the highway? I'm a little confused. He's slowing me down a lot. Why you slow me down so much, guy? 
Was I going that fast? I guess I might have been going that fast. I was probably going like 45. No, we are kind of transitioning here. That could be it. God, those lights look so good. So I guess I don't even need this fucking uh, thing up, huh? I could just have that since it's on. Oh, that looks so goddamn good. That looks so legit. Oh, wow. See, this is a nice truck. The one uh, I was using a couple quick jobs ago was not good. Okay, I'm going to slow her down here. Okay, so the only reason why that I see is justified is because it shows my gears. <laughs> okay, we're going to go down again. Six, sorry. <laughs> Just going to use the engine to slow us down. Change lane coming up. They made it way more dramatic than it really actually is. Okay. Get it over. We're looking good. What the f actual fuck is that noise? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, really? Did we just win the lottery? <laughs> like, what? Did we just win a jackpot at a fucking casino that we're playing in, like, an online game? I could turn that off. That was the weirdest fucking noise. I know it has to be something important, but another one? Uh-oh. I just fucked myself. Oh, God. There we go. We're good. Let's go ahead and get this bitch back up. I slowed down way too much. I look like I'm getting pulled over. <laughs> That's great. Okay, we're getting over. I see him behind me. Honestly, at night, you can really see the pilot car in the back, which actually helps a lot. Uh, I was doing the last convoy during the day, and it was so hard to see when they got over that they were yelling at me, They're like, you need to stay in between the cars. It's like, I can't fucking see him back there, okay? All right, let's, uh, let's get another shift. There we go. See, we figured this thing out. It was killing me. That's why I was like, dude, I got to really figure out what I got to do with this thing. But now it's now it's super easy. Now I can get through all the gears. I haven't needed to get in this uh, oversized load. I haven't needed to get up to the third bracket of gears. But at least I know how to get there if I needed to. It is so dark out here in the middle of fucking Arizona. We still got 62 miles. This guy is just crawling right now. Bro, come on. Pick it up a little. We're not even going near the speed limit. I've barely used any gas in this, like, eco-friendly semi-truck here. There's, like, no one on the road anymore. Roll down the window a little. Oh, it's a nice breeze. Kind of smells like... I was going to say shit, but I don't think they have cows to a high degree in Arizona. So, <laughs> let's get that back up. I love how you have stuff for the windows. Is it up? I can't see. It's so goddamn dark, you can't see at all in this bitch. Uh-oh. Little off. Little off. We're good. Hopefully there's not a uh, car on the side of the road that's trying to get their shit figured out. Uh, how are we looking on temperature? 200 degrees. That's not bad. Actually, 197, actually. Why are you fucking... Oh, he's slowing me down because I'm going way too fast. Are you happy? Yeah? Good. Fucking prick. Just because you're the police. They, they pulled me over really quick in the middle of the... Uh, convoy. Jeez, that'd be great. So yeah, I have some of the hotkeys set up as best as I can here. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, I guess we're getting out. It did not warn me. It did not warn me. I'm keeping it between the escort vehicles. You dingling. Oil level's okay. That's good. All right, we're back in this. I don't know why he slowed me down so much. We were only going 45. Like, come on. I had no speed wobbles. We were good. Let's keep this bitch going nice and strong. We are literally so close to the destination here. Is there a way to see the uh, gear? Oh, there is, huh? Eight. So I guess technically I don't need this. I would like to do it without it. Changing lane maneuver is coming. Adapt your speed to avoid a possible crash. I'm already going 35. What you talking about, Willis? Like, all right, I want to try the rest of it without that thing open because it's absolutely immersive without, especially at night. Okay, we're going to hit the lane change. What's, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? 
Come on, guy. I don't see where we would need to do the lane change. We're pretty much staying on this freeway for a little. This guy's really grinding my gears. You see what I did there? <laughs> Alright, no, really, though. What are we doing? Are we getting off here? No? Alright, well, I'm just going to follow this dipsh... I don't know why they told me that then. I wonder if they're still going to give me the uh, information. I don't really need it, huh? All they, all they tell me is... We're going to change lanes. I'll know when the fucker changes lanes. That way I can see the uh, lane a little better. I'm going to roll that down. Oh, that's nice and loud, huh? Another Crown Vic over there. God damn, that looks good when you pass by it. All right, guy, what are we doing? How are you going to say we're going to change lanes and then we haven't changed lanes for like miles here? Makes no sense. Oh, are we getting off? I think we are. I don't even think I'll need to change lanes on the left-hand side. I got a person over there. Oh, the buttons actually move. That's fucking legit. All right. Um, yeah, this is going to be it, I think. Let's get a uh, blinker going. And we're going to get ready for this guy over here. No, are we not changing? No, I don't think so. Everyone needs to be careful. We got a lot of shit going on over here. Somebody gonna die, and I don't want it to happen. Damn, you know how, much, how expensive it would be if they had actually all these trucks out for an oversized load? I highly doubt that. That would be some next level shit. Okay, we're going a little... No, we're not. It seems like we are for some reason. We got this. We're in our lane. We're chilling. Fuck yeah, dude. Change lane maneuver is coming. Did that just pop uh, the system back up? Even though I had it off? Oh, okay. Puts it. Okay, well, at least you still get your uh, information that's needed. That's good. All right. So now that we don't have that up, let's try to get down with this. Oh, shit. We're professionals. We got down to sixth gear. Even though I, <laughs> I was a little too soon, I think. There we go. We're good. Or we're just going to straight run this shit. I'm going to go wide then. I really can't see the uh, trailer as much as I would like. I think we're good with that. Uh, bruh! I won another lottery! We're rich! Hell yeah! <laughs> That's like <laughs> catastrophic engine failure and I'm like, woo! Honestly, that was a great turn. That was fast. That was wide. That was fucking solid. Hell yeah, dude. This has been a really good fucking drive. Uh, like I said, the slow ones, I think, are almost too easy. All right. We're going to be entering our destination here. And this is always the fun part. And we are going to go with the top one, which is... Where do you want it? God damn it. I feel like I'm at an ice cream store. It's like, what do you... What? What is the... Cold stone fire. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, I hit that. That's all right. That's my truck, though. So, that's really, it's a rental truck. Never mind. Lols. Good. Another solid turn here. And uh, I believe we are going... We're going in that bitch. I got gotcha. you. Oh, I should have went wider than that. Don't fucking honk. I think we're good, honestly. I think we... Shut the fuck up. That was clean. Another good turn. We're going to just keep it wide just in case because I really can't see the fucking trailer for the life of me. And now we're chilling. Clean. Clean, clean, clean. Why are you honking still? That's what I'm talking about. Fuck you, auto parking. Let's get this bitch lined up. Nice pull up. We're here. Sounded like a seagull or <laughs> I don't think a seagull would sound like that, but okay. Um complete the delivering. You will miss precise parking. To skip the parking the trailer. No, oh, I want to detach it. Am I it's not green though. Hold on, it was green. Ah, there we go. Alright, we're solid. Let's parking break that shit really quick. 
Okay, uh, T, unlink the cargo. Decoupling. That was a solid run. Oh, what the fuck? I wanted to do it. Why isn't it letting me? That's so silly. I was ready for that shit. You know how hard that would have been in that thing? God damn it. All right, well, we made a ton of money, so that's good. We're at level six. That was a good run, though. Oh, we got some of these. Two skill points. Um, honestly, fragile cargo would be fun. High value. That would be pretty legit. Uh, and then... None of those sound appealing. Okay, we've got those added. By the way, Chang also works for a trucking company. Not only does he do law enforcement work in Los Santos, he's out all over the United States in a fucking semi-truck. Um, okay, so... Yeah, so now will be the next part that uh, we did that pretty much kicked off this whole idea to get in here and play this. Let's go ahead and get the drive started today. We're in the truck. We're parked off to the side. I parked here personally, so I should be able to get out of here without messing everything up, or at least that's the hope. Uh, now, one thing is I'm still setting up all the key bindings and all that. I've done a pretty extensive customization for the wheel, for the stream deck everything so we pretty much have everything customized like lspdfr i just have done it for way longer in lspdfr so i have had more time and knowledge but uh, we're getting there i think i understand how this works so uh let's go ahead and start the car i've learned that you have to have the clutch down or else this bitch likes to turn off every goddamn second uh it's hot in here oh is that a cop car oh shit what's up police oh goddamn i don't know how i feel about the rims on that but uh Let's go ahead and roll down some of these windows. Like I said, I got hotkeys on hotkeys, all right? God damn, it's hot in this truck. Shit. All right, that's good. That's really loud. Holy shit, that's so much louder. I love it, though. All right, and me and Spoonbill plan to do this game as well, too. Uh, but I just wanted to try it, and I got in. I was like, let me see if I even like it, because he asked me about it. I was like, let me see if I like it. And within, like, five minutes, I was like, all right, time to customize keys. So, uh, all right, we're in first gear. I think we're good to go. We got the parking brake on. Uh, I have it on my wheel and also on the stream deck. Oh, all right. We're going to be good to go. I got my blinker. All right. I think we're good. We can get on the road here. Let's hope that. And this is like the first game I played where like the clutch and the gas actually do something. Like you have to barely hit the gas. I'm sorry. Barely hit. Yeah, no. Barely hit the gas and release the clutch. Uh, for it to actually do something. And I am not used to semi-truck, so if I don't drive it appropriately, uh, that is why. And they do be shifting a lot, and I don't think I realize that. I'm also doing an H-shifter with a fucking toggle button for the rest of the gears. But for some reason, my gears, I'll go from 6th gear all the way to 13th. So I feel like something's messed up. It'll work, though. I'll keep looking into it, but it's going to be kind of like that all right so we're slowing down for a red here i got all those uh traffic things off i think we should be able to hit the brakes where are we going i think i gotta turn right it wants me to go i don't know see i'm not sure about this game i think i can go straight maybe hold on let's go ahead and look at the map really quick here because i'm not sure it all looks like a connected road this looks like san diego looks like the absolute smallest town in this game uh, and I might switch to ETS, but it, in the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I wanted ATS for American roads, obviously. Um, I just feel like I would be even worse on European roads. Uh, but we got a little bit of a drive, so I'm just going to go straight once we get the green, and we'll kind of see how that goes. Let's get into the right gear. Oh, see, we died there because I let go of the clutch. That's something I got to get used to. All right, we're getting there. I didn't want to just put it on automatic because I felt like that would have been really cheeky uh, to do that. Oh, that's parking brake. You got to... <laughs> All right, we're going to get there. All right, let's go. We got this. We'll find a rhythm. All right, we're getting somewhere. Now I got to get that. Oh, see, we're on uh, 13th. I don't know how we get to that when I click the toggle button it should just go once but then we just end up on 13 just go smashing down the goddamn road all right so we're gonna need to uh, i'm just gonna stop here fuck it yeah i'm not sure if they have do they have to hold the clutch in a real semi truck because i feel like that would be just dreadfully annoying for your leg if you're driving in the city i guess if you're on the highway it's not too big of a deal all right 
Come on now, throw me a green. We got this. Any day now. Oh, we got blinkers. And we're ready in case we get uh, impromptu rain. Oh wait, that's emergencies. Lols. Okay, here we go. Let's get this big bitch going. All right. Let me just try to get it up to six. I think six is going to be better than nothing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now I'll... 13th. Okay, shit. Although we should be going to 7th, 8th, 9th, and then 10th. But all right, that's fine. We should have a six on 12, but I don't know what's going on. Honestly, with these speeds, I can just fucking go really quick. Everyone, stay the fuck out of the way, okay? Professional goddamn semi-truck driver. I like how it's all blocked off, too. Oh, we're speeding, but that's fine. I don't know if that's, that's fine, but... All right, we're going to be making a right-hand turn. We're going to slow it down. We're going to get back over to these. Let's get to six gear. Oh, shit. We're professional. Clear. Clear. All right. So now we're going to swap over to these. Nice. All right, we're getting there. I'll take it. Hopefully it shows the speed limit. Isn't it 55? Yeah, 55 for trucks with trailers. So we got some time. All right, let's switch again. How's our gas looking? Honestly, it's not going down at all. I don't know if it's on, but I've been sitting on the side of the road up there for, I don't know how fucking long. All right, how are we looking here? I probably can uh, shift again. That way we don't waste as much gas. Three hours, 23 minutes. What does that mean? Is that... See, I gotta, I gotta understand what all this means. It is going down, so is that saying uh, how long the trip is? So I guess we'll be on this for a minute. 141 miles. I still see no gas gone. We are speeding. I'm gonna go ahead and show. That's fucking dope. Just see the copper on the side of the road. Do they actually pull out after you? Maybe I should turn on the traffic offenses. Oh my god. That would be sick if they do. They probably do. Honestly, I haven't played this game in God knows how long. Alright, um... We have cruise control set up too. I just want to see if it works necessarily. Let's drop it down one more so I get a little more power. Get up. There we go. What are we doing? Oh, did I already miss it? No, it says go straight. I have a feeling like, watch me not have picked up the load. Even though I have my trailer, watch something just be fucked up. All right, let's try this cruise control. Okay, I did see something actually activate. It's still going down, though. Oh, we got to set it. Let's get back up to 55. Nope, those are wipers. <laughs> what? Why the fuck are my wipers on? Why? That's not what I wanted. Oh, God. Okay, well, cruise control is not working, unfortunately. That's fine. All right, let's uh, keep going here. I got to just stay on the freeway for a little, it seems. But, uh, oh, we are smashing. Then again, I don't have that on. It looks like there's a cop behind us. I think I can cycle these uh, camera angles. Oh, that's daunting. I kind of like it, though. Just go like this whole time like we're playing GTA fucking 1. That's cool. All right, well, back in here. I have this all customized, too, so I have, like, the same FOV that we would actually see on the dash cam mod in Grand Theft Auto, the LSPD farm. So it should look somewhat... Obviously, we don't sit behind the uh, steering wheel, which would be nice if it looked like this shit. Oh, that's so fucking cool. It even says Highway Patrol. That's legit. We're definitely not speeding, that's for sure. I'm going to get over... Uh, let's go ahead and throw on our blinker here. We got someone coming up on our right-hand side. This is legit. Okay, we're going to get over. Very nice. Turn that off. We are smashing right now. Okay, we're in uh, 15th gear. I want to try to maintain about 50. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I still keep thinking we got to get off because it's telling us like turn around so I don't know if we fucked something up it's just a test run anyway so it's we're good literally gas has not gone down at all unless it wanted me to go and get gas first <laughs> it's like trying to show me how to play the game and I'm like no fuck you I just want to drive 
Because this is fucking legit. It's not like, you know, Forza where you're going fast or LSPDFR where you're going fast and shooting your gun and chasing people. It's more of like, you know, a very chill experience, which is kind of nice and different sometimes. Like, we still got four miles per hour that we could kind of make up here. And when we go about 56, it doesn't show red. Let's see. All right. High 56, I guess. I didn't even know there was such thing as high 56 or low 56. Usually it's just 56, then it changes. But you know what they say. All right. Four hours, 24 minutes. Why is it getting longer? Unless that's how long we've been on the road, hypothetically. At this point, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, Los Angeles city limits. So it looks like we're going to be getting off the highway. It's going to be right off the freeway. Going to get ready for an exit. Oh, someone's pulled over. Oh, that's legit. I didn't even know that they stood out of the car like that. Are you fucking serious? Like, what the actual fuck? Okay. Yeah, we definitely got to turn that on. Once we get this dropped off, which the backing up for me is always the hilarious part. But once we get that dropped off, we'll get that turned on because that's definitely... Oh, don't, don't stall. Oh, we're stalling. Okay, hold on. We're good. Sorry, people. Hold on. Let me throw in the hazards. All right, hazards are on. Let's get the vehicle on. Uh, I got a whole clutch. Okay, first. Oh, shut the fuck up back there. Ah, uh, see? You're stressing me out. Okay. I'm going to run the stop sign, probably. Just because fuck these motherfuckers. All right, we're going. I need to get, like, a fucking seven-foot-tall, like, gear shifter for this uh, TH-8A or whatever the fuck it is. It's such a confusing name. That way it feels like an actual semi-truck. All right, where the fuck am I going? Hold on. Let's just go somewhere really quick. Get out of this lane. I don't want to block shit. Oh, that's not a fucking gear. I'm going to just turn right just to get out of the way, and we'll figure out where exactly we're going. I probably should have looked. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wide right. Wide right. Wide right. What? I couldn't make it? Oh, fuck. We done fucked up, Char. This isn't good. Come on. Stop dying on me. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, company. We done fucked up your shit. I just don't want a jackknife either. All right. We're not going to go that way. We're just going to go this way. Come on. Don't stall. Oh, shiznit. Am I going to be able to U-turn here? I am fucking everything up. What the fuck? I'm sure for people that have played... Oh, God. Oh, we got it. We got it. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck you, you little bitch-ass goddamn house. We out here. I might have fucked up there, but we're good. I don't know where we're, I think we were actually supposed to. Fuck, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I can't because I have to go. I just look like the world's biggest idiot. I'm going in circles in a semi truck. Holy shit. All right, let's go around the stupid fucking pole or the light thing. That's our best bet. All right, we're good. Yeah, that was definitely what fucked us up. This has to be it, yeah? Los Angeles discovered. I don't think so. And if we did discover it, that was the size of a fucking fiber of a carpet. Are you kidding me? All right, we got this shit. Let's get into second gear here. Is that a cop? Security guard? All right, am I supposed to back up or do... Okay, load and unload. I think this is where we detach it. I am off course here. This was literally the first job that you get to. Press the following key to handle job delivery. What does that mean? Enter or num enter. Okay. Uh, where do you need it? Honestly, we're just going to do it. So I like how it gives you an option though. Bravo. Uh, where do you need it? Let's do that. Let's play it safe. Pull it straight in. Back it up. I am not a professional, but we did do good in the intersection. So let's go ahead and get risky for the bisky. Proceed towards unloading area. Head towards the red flag. Let's go ahead and take a look at our map here because I don't know what that means. We really can't zoom in anymore. Oh, you got me fucked up. It's definitely, we got to go down and around. That's for sure. That's a shitty ass drop off. 
All right. Well, let's get the engine started here. Get her into first. All right. Let's make sure we don't smack anything. We're going to be good. Okay, we're looking good. Honestly, I might be able to do this. I feel like results are going to be just way better. Because, one, we do have the wheel. I don't think we used the wheel last time. I don't know what we used. We could have used the keyboard. Um, but I feel like it's definitely going to help. Especially because I have mouse control. Like, how I'm able to look left and right right now. And everything's just... Everything's perfectly set up for LSPDFR. So, literally getting in here for this was almost too simple. Minus exact key bindings. To skip parking the trailer and complete the delivery. I don't want to. What? I'm good. I'd fuck your auto parking bullshit. Where is my uh, draw? Oh, I see it right there. We got to back that shit up. You are kidding me. Why does this have to be the most difficult one? <laughs> you guys are assholes. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait. Oh, it's that way? They don't really give anyone any hope here, huh? All right. I'm not sure how to do this. I didn't do any training, uh, but I am going to pull forward. We're going to see what we could do here. Let's try to pull forward. I'm going to pull into bay one here. Try to straighten out. And then we'll back up into the dock that we have to be, which is going to be that one over there. Unmarked, of course. Try to just get as straight as I can here. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see what we can do. I am not a professional semi-truck driver. All right. Um, so we are in reverse now. We probably could do another camera angle, but since this is a correct orientation, like even me looking out of the window like this, I say we stay in this just to get it a little more lined up towards where we need to go. We're that way, so we're moving opposite. And backwards, I've got to remember it's opposite. So let me see here. Nope, already the wrong way. That's fine. I've got to just kind of figure it out, feel it out. We'll get there. Oh, and we stalled again. That clutch is like a real clutch. That doesn't happen in Forza. I just realized that. And if it did, it would be kind of cool. Because then you would have... Did the parking brake turn on? No. Oh, you know what? I think our nose is against this, honestly. That would make sense. Yeah, it was. All right. Let's uh, back this up, try to go the correct way. We won't be able to do too much because we got that stuff to our side. I'm trying to have to finagle it. I think I have to go to a different spot. That is not going to work, like the pull in and back up. So we're going to have to get this trailer turned a little bit so that I can manipulate it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just telling you right now. I'm probably sure you can see that from what I'm doing. Uh, but we're just trying it out, right? Let's go back in reverse here. And I just got to get that trailer starting to turn the opposite direction. As of right now, it's still really wanting to go the same way. And I'm going to kill you. All right, there we go. We got it. We're going. We got it. Let's make sure we don't hit anything. Yeah, fam. I don't know if anyone would take this long actually backing one of these up. Oh, hold on. We're going the right way. We need more of a turn. There we go. Yeah, I got room. We're going to keep backing it up. I had to change camera angle just so I could see and make sure we don't bash the trailer. But honestly, I feel like we're getting there. So let's see if I could start. Okay, I'm kind of there. So I want to turn the wheel this way, I think. Let's go back forward. Try to straighten it out just a little. That way we can get it where we got to get it. It's going to get there, goddammit. Going nice and slow really does fucking help. All right. Oh, we're killing the car a lot, though. Come on, baby. We got this. I see it. I see it. Okay, hold on. Too much. Let's go ahead and get into this side. I got this shit. I just had to get it to the point. You know what I mean? It's a pain in the ass, that's for sure. But we did it. All right, other way. Very nice. We might be able to just one-shot this now. Oh, God. We actually might have this. If I could do the backing up part, that was literally the hardest part for me. Let's do a... Uh, I'm going to straighten out here. But I think we got it. I mean, we already got the truck in the position that we need. So I'm not too worried. Oh, yeah, it's going. And then we'll just straighten it out where we need it. We'll just be able to back that shit right up. Oh, too fucking easy. Well, I wouldn't say too, too easy. I've been at this for like, I think like a solid 10. Oh, solid 10 minutes here. But we got this. I can see why back in the day, my stress level probably would have been like, damn, this is too much. I don't know what I'm doing. 
But if people can actually do this, like, on ridiculous roads with traffic and shit, like, real traffic, this can be done in a video game. All right. We just got to back it up. Let's go ahead and throw it. I don't know if the... Yep, that's the right direction. Let's back it up sharp. Go ahead and smooth it out a little. Give it a little more. Cut it a little more. Very nice. All right. We're in a good position. We're just going to go forward. Come on, baby. You got this shit. You got this shit. Hell yeah. Get back to this. Throw it in reverse. Very nice. Please tell me that's good enough. Come on. Let's make sure we're not going to hit anything. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay, close enough. Hold on. Oh, that's dope how it auto-changes. We should easily be able to back it up now, so... Just go a little forward, get it nice and straight. That is such a weird fucking camera angle. Like, this is what I would picture if Grand Theft Auto were to literally be made in fucking, like, 2023 in that top-down view. All right, we got this. It wants it right in it. Okay, we got it. We're going to give it to him right in it then. Fuck him. I hopefully I get to drive back with an empty trailer. That'd be legit. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's just go forward a little because I'm off. Oh, yeah. It's going right where they want it. What was that? Exactly where you want it. Where do you want it? I got gotcha. you. Oh, God. We're a little bit... We got it, though. I don't know how long that took me. Uh, let's go back in our camera. Hell yeah. Parking brake active? It is. I'm going to shut the truck off. Okay, cargo is ready for unloading. I got a detach button for this. Let's go ahead and take a peek. All right, detach. Where is it? Oh, this one. Oh, shit. We actually did it. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think I even did that last time I played this game. Or if we did, I had to just skip it, dude. Oh my God. All right, everyone, that is gonna be where we wrap this episode up. Uh, probably wasn't that good on the second portion there, like I said, but I feel like it was a good first impression of this game, just with all the things that shocked me, uh, with like the police cars on the side of the road and just how good it looked. Always good to just kind of get a fresh experience of a game that's been out for God knows how long. So that is going to be where we wrap it up. So thanks so much for watching this episode of American Truck Simulator, and we will see you next video.